You literally cannot fucking make this shit up. Daniel fucking Hemrick not only gets his first career win, but he does it to win the championship on the last lap at Phoenix. Mm. Excuse me. What's up, guys? It's me, Alan. I'm back. And <laughs> what a race. What a race. So, um, a few things I want to get out of the way first. Uh, first of all, please make sure to drop a like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. Second of all, I did not get to do a truck series race reaction because I was at work, but congrats to Ben Rhodes on getting the W. Oh, well, getting the championship W, I should say. Chandler Smith won the race. Uh, but Ben Rhodes wins the first two races of the year, coasts, co pretty much coasts the rest of the season, gets the championship W. Uh, that's awesome for him. I know it's not a popular championship win, but John Arnimacek had issues early in the race. Shit happens. Second thing I want to talk about real quick. Matt Benedetto. I already made a video on him, so I'm not going to go full detail again. But earlier today, there's a picture somebody took at the track that's been circulating around of him getting interviewed by a guy in a Let's Go Brandon shirt. Furthermore, uh, somebody did some digging on the guy. And yeah, um, he's not a good dude in terms of... So he's... Yeah. Also, apparently somebody... Uh, had a plane that flew over the track with a Let's Go Brandon sign on it. You can hardly see it, but apparently that happened. And somebody posted a video, and we had somebody posted a little video on Twitter of Matt Benedetto before he got into his car uh, for, I would say, either practice or qualifying, and he said, Let's Go Brandon. Matt Benedetto, from me to you, as Brock Lesnar once said, from me to you, go fuck yourself. That's all I'm going to say about that. Moving on, let's get to the race, because we want to talk about some good stuff, don't we? So, Harrison Burt, Harrison Burt with a tech infraction, J.J. Ailey in a backup car, and David Starr with unapproved adjustments all had to start at the rear. Austin Cindric would have radio, had radio interference issues, but he ended up winning stage one. No, no competition caution, complete snooze fest of his first stage. Sam Ayer, Josh Williams, and Joe Graff Jr. all got speeding penalties. Uh, Jeffrey Earnhardt would bring out the first incident caution of the day. I think this had something to... I think Joe Graff Jr. might have been involved in this, and I'll, I'll mention that a little bit later. But his night, done from that. And then the rest of the stage was pretty much a snooze fest. Daniel Hemrick gets the stage win. On pit road. Slow pit stop for Noah Gregson, but the team saves the tire from becoming a penalty for a controlled tire. It was rolling... Guy was able to grab it, and they were not penalized. Broadcast mentioned that this was the same guy, because they had Chase Elliott's pit crew, uh, Gregson's team did. This was the same <laughs> This was the same guy that ran back to the pit wall uh, to avoid having a man over the wall too soon penalty uh, during a pit stop during the Martinsville Cup race last year. And we all know what happened. Chase Elliott won the race. He goes on to win the championship in the following week. So, uh, yeah. So, million IQ move right there, and thank God for that. So, we get the race going again. Not long after the restart, Joe Graff Jr. gets into a hard wreck, um, got spun by Sage Karam, and actually the back window broke on Graff's car, which is insane to me. Um, but he's, his night is done. We get another caution shortly after the next restart, this time for Matt Mills, Damage on his right side and a smoking engine, and Karam was also involved in this one. So he had two caution. So uh, two, the two cautions in a row caused in part by him. Uh, Buford gets into the wall after the next restart, but we're still green. Joe Graff Jr. and Jeffrey Earnhardt, thanks to video from uh, from Brockbeard, uh, had a heated discussion in the garage. Presumably, Graff was involved with with the Earnhardt incident earlier. Uh, no. Really anything physical, just Earnhardt was pissed and or and Graf was listening and he was probably pissed too, so shit happens. Um then we get another caution, this time for Stefan Parsons, engine blows up, car rubs into flames underneath, his night is done. Uh drivers would pit, Gregson had another long pit stop, and then we get another caution not long after the restart. Jade Buford breaking out the caution for him, spinning way on the bottom of the restart. I think he got looser and needs somebody. But on said restart. 
Gregson gained a shit ton of spots. He got aggressive, went through the middle, and gained a shit ton of spots, um, which was awesome to see. And on the restart, Justin Allgaier, he got a restart violation penalty, dropping below the yellow line, changing lanes before the start finish line. He was on the bottom, so that happened. Um, we get the next restart contact between in the corner between AJ Allmendinger and John Hunter Nemechek. All, and then Allmendinger almost squeezes Gregson into Harrison Burton in the next corner. Review was looked at because John Hunter Nemechek complained that Austin uh, Cindric jumped the start. He did not. So uh, restart was reviewed as good. We kept going. A little bit later, Allgaier has big contact with Creed. Uh, Allmendinger would end up reporting a vibration, and then a little bit later, he spins out trying to pit, and the caution comes out. Now, before you talk Spingate, before you bring up Carson Hosevar back at Las Vegas, this was not an intentional spin. He actually had a loose wheel, and they showed it. They showed the wheel on the broadcast. It was bad. So, uh, no penalty for trying to cause a caution. And even if he tried to cause one, it's not like it would have mattered unless the other three championship guys wrecked because Almanir's car sucked all night. Um, but anyway, so we get the race going again. A um, little bit of contact between Gregson and Hemrick, and we get another caution shortly thereafter. This time, uh, Jeb Burton got spun off of a little bit of contact from Sheldon Creed, slight contact in uh, uh, Myatt Snyder's right side. For Burton, could have been a bigger crash, but it was not, and Burton didn't really get any damage anyway, uh, so that happened, and uh, Kyle C would pit, uh, he got a speeding penalty, that's pretty much insignificant. Next restart, we get going again, uh, Gregson sends it into one of the corners, um, gets ta uh, gets into the wall, taps the backstretch wall after the fact, um, and then we get another caution shortly thereafter for Jade Buford and Josh Williams. This would put the race into overtime, and this would be the final caution of the night. And I got to give props where props are due to Noah Gregson. He tried, man. He really tried. He fought. And he gave it all that he had. Even with the long stops, he gave it all that he had, okay? It wasn't the best night for him. But, it, but considering the season that he's dealt with, all of a bad luck, finally getting wins late in the season. He wins at Martinsville last weekend, which put him into the Final Four after getting fucked at Kansas again. I'll take it, all right? Uh, you know what? I'll take it. He put his heart out there, for, and yeah, he came up short for the championship, but this 2022, man, if, if we could avoid the bat, if I should say, we, if Gregson can avoid the bad luck, and if he can get consistency on his side, 2022, watch out. Everybody's going to be talking about Ty Gibbs, but watch out for Noah. Just saying. So, final restart. Austin Sendrick, Daniel Hamrick, they're basically the two that are battling for the title. I was kind of hoping they'd wreck each other. They did not. Well, kind of. So, they get through three and four. Hemrick makes a little bit of contact with Cindric, runs him up the track, but doesn't do enough to take him out or try to get around him. White flag. Cindric takes the white flag. They go through turns three and they go through one and two. I almost said three and four because the odds they reverse the thing. Uh, Hemrick, he's still right there with Cindric. They go into turns three and four. Hemrick gets a run. He gets right up beside Cindric, gets into him, gets around him. Cindric looked like he was try he tried to dump Hemrick across the start finish line. It was close. Somehow, Hemrick keeps it straight, crosses the line first, wins the championship and his first career and gets his first career win in the process. And yes, he got to do the backflip. 10 out of 10 by the way. Watch the video. 10 out of fucking 10. Now, I don't think Hemrick's celebration is going to top Rhodes's uh, celebration. Uh, you know, with the press conferences from last night, again, if, you, if you've seen the videos, go watch. That man was gone. He was fucking drunk. <laughs> Funny as all hell. Um, but huge props to Daniel Hamrick. Obviously, he's going to be going from Joe Gibbs Racing to Colleague next year uh, to run for their Xfinity Series team. And when that announcement was made, a lot of people were thinking, look, he's either going to get a win sometime this year 
or he's got to get a win next season, or he's pretty much done. Because there's no fuck. If he can't fucking win with any of the top equipment in Xfinity, granted, he hasn't ran for Junior Motorsports yet, but mm, yeah. But that all being said, he's ran for some of the top teams. You know, he had a cup of coffee in NASCAR, you know, with the eight car at RCR before Reddick was put in there, but regardless. If he doesn't get a win at some point, then what's the point for Hemrick? He finally got it. And now, he gets to go into next season with a win and the championship. And, uh, yeah. So, <sighs> congratulations, Daniel Hemrick. Congrats on the win. And now, we got one race left until 2022. The Cup Series Championship tomorrow. Kyle Larson, Chase Elliott, Denny Hamlin, March Rex Jr. Two Hendricks, two, Go two Joe Gibbs Racing, two Chevys, two Toyotas. Who's going to come out on top? I'll see y'all then. Thank y'all for watching. Hope y'all enjoyed. And I'll, ca I'll catch y'all tomorrow for my final NASCAR race reaction of 2021. Catch you then. Peace.